In these weeks, we're reading from John's Gospel, chapter 6, where Jesus describes himself as the bread of life. It's a perfect opportunity to deepen our understanding of the liturgy, especially the Eucharist. Catholics are familiar with the term liturgy. It comes from two Greek words meaning public and work. According to the Second Vatican Council, this public work is God's work on our behalf, stating that the wonderful works of God among the people of the Old Testament were but a prelude to the work of Christ the Lord in redeeming humankind and giving perfect glory to God. As the Bread of Life discourse begins, Jesus in Capernaum confronts people hungry for a repeat of the miraculous feeding we heard about last week. He chides them not to work for food that perishes, but for food that endures for eternal life. The crowd wants to know what they can do to accomplish the works of God. Jesus answers, this is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. Pressing him further, they want a sign to help them believe, a sign like the manna in the desert described in our first reading. Anticipating the council's teaching, Jesus responds that God is at work to give them the true bread from heaven, which gives life to the world. While the still hungry crowd wants Jesus to give us this bread always, he refocuses the debate on himself. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Thus, the Vatican Council can proclaim, to accomplish so great a work, Christ is always present in his church, especially in her liturgical celebrations. Today is a good moment to recall what the church teaches about this presence of Christ. We are familiar with the real presence of Christ in the consecrated bread and wine, his body and blood. But the council teaches also of three other ways Christ is present in the sacrifice of the mass, in the minister, the priest, in the liturgy of the word, and in the assembly. As the council says, he is present lastly when the church prays and sings, for he promised, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. God's public work indeed.